Twitter said on Friday that it has implemented a poison pill that will dilute anyone with a stake in the firm of more than 15%. It will be by selling more shares at a discount to other owners. This will dilute the shares. The poison pill will be in effect for 364 days. Elon Musk's $43 billion offer for Twitter was challenged on Friday. He prompted Twitter to implement a poison pill to limit his potential to increase his share on Twitter. Thoma Bravo is a technology-focused private equity group with more than $103 billion in assets under management as of the end of December. He has told Twitter that it is considering putting together an offer. While the poison pill would make it impossible for most Twitter stake the stockholders to sell their stock, the tender offer would allow them to do so. Musk's bid might be boosted by a private equity group cooperating with him rather than competing with him. According to industry sources, Musk's criticism of Twitter's reliance on advertising for majority of its revenue has made some private equity companies wary of partnering with him. This is because a robust cash flow makes it much similar to finance a leveraged buyout. On Wednesday, Allen tweeted his all-cash proposal of $54.20 per share for the firm. He added it was it was denied. He said he would revaluate his position as a Twitter shareholder. Musk owns more than 9% of Twitter, making him the second largest stakeholder after Vanguard, the mutual fund Bohemoth. On Thursday, Musk announced that Twitter's shareholders should vote on his offer, and he conducted a poll on Twitter in which the majority of users agreed with him. The board of directors of Twitter is still considering Musk's offer and will only bring it to a vote of the company's shareholder if it is approved. Twitter's stock dropped on Thursday, signaling that most investors believe the company's board of directors would reject Musk's approach as insufficient and lacking in financial information. According to individuals familiar with the situation, Twitter's board will need several more days to evaluate Musk's proposal and compose its response. According to the sources, a decision before the weekend seems doubtful. Goldman Sachs Group has been advising Twitter's board on its deliberation. Bloomberg News reported on Friday that the board had tapped JP Morgan Chase Company as a second financial advisor.